Hello students, welcome to the English class. Uh, today we will, in this video, today we will start with the explanation of the fourth chapter from uh, Flamingo, the Rat Trap. Okay, uh, till now we have completed uh, three chapters from Flamingo, uh, last lesson, uh, the lost spring and uh, deep water. So today we will start with another new chapter from Flamingo, the Rat Trap. So let's start with the lecture and the explanation. Okay, so if you have the book, please open the book right in front of you. The Rat Trap, uh, it is written by Salma Lagarlov. Salma Lagarlov, as you can see in your book, it is written, born in 1858 and uh, till 1940 she lived, was a Swedish writer whose uh, stories have been translated into many languages. A universal theme runs through all of them, a belief that the essential goodness in a human being can be awakened through understanding and love. The story is set amidst the mines of Sweden, rich in iron ore, uh, which a figure large in the history and legends of that country. The story is told somewhat in the manner of a fairy tale. Okay, so uh, this chapter, Rat Trap, is a very uh, interesting chapter, not only an interesting chapter, but it is also, um, this chapter is full of values, okay, human values and uh, moral lessons are also there, uh, is also there in this chapter. So as we go through the chapter, you will understand it more clearly. As it is being said here, that is, there is a universal theme, okay, it runs through the all of them. There is a belief that essence Essential goodness in human being can be awakened through understanding and love. Okay, that means if we need to understand a human being or if we are having any kind of relationship with a human being, then what is most important is of course the essential goodness in human being. Okay, human being is uh, composed of uh, uh, bad quality and good quality. But when we give importance to the good quality, okay, and we give value to the good quality, then the relationship or the real value of a human being can be judged to. Right, so let's start with the explanation. Okay. Once upon a time, there was a man who went around selling small red traps of wire. See, the story starts with the line, once upon a time. You must have read many um, fairy tales when you were small and in fact now also you must be reading many fairy tales. How do the fairy tales start? Usually fairy tales start by the line, once upon a time they are used to leave. Okay, like this, this is the usual way of starting a fairy tale. Right. So here also we find the, in this story, the author started the story, okay, with this particular line, once upon a time. Here, of course, a fairy tale um, uh, feeling is there. And whenever you have read any fairy tale, you must have known that the end of the fairy tale, we were always told that what is the moral that we learn from the fairy tale or what is the lesson that we learn from the fairy tale. In this story also, the rat trap also, as it starts like a fairy tale feeling, the the story also ends with a lesson okay so let's continue so once upon a time there was a man who went around selling small rat traps of wire okay so there was a man who used to sell uh, rat traps of wire what are rat traps rat traps are those traps which are used in order to uh, catch uh, rat isn't it in order to trap down rat what is there it is made of wire and there is a cheese kept inside the rat trap okay the mouse is attracted by the cheese and it um, tries to enter the rat trap to get hold of the cheese and thereby it gets itself entrapped into that particular rat trap okay he made them himself at odd moments from the material he got by begging in the stores or at the big farms but even so, the business was not especially profitable. So he had to resort to both begging and petty thievery to keep body and soul together. Even so, his clothes were in rags, his cheeks were sunken and hunger gleamed in his eyes. Right? So uh, what is being said here that this man used to collect the material required by begging from stores or big farms. Right? He, still his business was not earning him any profit. Right? Therefore, he had to beg or steal in order to survive. His clothes were old and torn. His cheeks were lowered inside uh, due to malnutrition. And one could easily see the hunger in his eyes. Right? 
no one can imagine how sad and monotonous life can appear to such a vagabond who plods along the road left to his own meditation. But one day this man had fallen into a line of thought which really seemed to him entertaining. Right. So what happened here? It says that the life of the rat trap seller was very sad and boring. He was uh, homeless and uh, slowly with heavy feet he walked along the road, lost in his own thoughts. But one day he got lost in a series of thoughts, right, which he found very interesting. Now there are some uh, words like monotonous. What is the meaning of the term monotonous? Monotonous means something which is very boring okay to such a vagabond what is the meaning of this term vagabond vagabond means wanderer okay vagabond means wanderer okay and then there is another word which is plods what is the meaning of the plods plods means to walk heavily okay so we have come to know three word meaning one is monotonous which is boring vagabond means wanderer who does not have any house or any family or any relatives okay just move from one place to another aimlessly and uh, plods means to walk very heavily okay he had naturally been thinking of his rat traps when suddenly he was struck by the idea that the whole world about him the whole world with its lands and seas, its cities and villages was nothing but a big rat trap. It had never existed for any other purpose than to set baits for people. It offered riches and joys, shelter and food, heat and clothing, exactly as the rat trap offered cheese and pork. And as soon as anyone let himself be tempted to touch the bait, it closed on him. And then everything came to an end. So what happened? He was natural. The man was uh, uh, thinking about the rat trap. Sorry, the man was thinking about the rat trap. Okay. Um, and suddenly a thought came to his mind that the whole world which includes land, sea, cities and villages was similar to a rat trap okay he thought that there was no meaning of the existence of this world it was nothing but a temptation right just like cheese and pork which um, we offer as a bait to catch the rat right so according to him as soon as someone tries to comfort himself with joy food and shelter he at once gets trapped into its into this rat trap which is known as world now here you see here there is something very much important sorry uh, if you uh, see it very carefully here, this particular paragraph is important. Why is this paragraph important? Because here we find the real meaning of the rat trap. Okay, the symbols of rat trap being used. Okay, what what symbols is this rat trap? What does this rat trap exactly mean? Okay, that is what we come to know from here. What is said here, if you see it very carefully, the whole world with its lands and seas, its cities and villages was nothing but a big rat trap. Okay, so the entire world with its lands, okay, with its cities and villages, it is a rat, rat trap. Why? Because it offered riches and joys, shelter and food, heat and clothing exactly as the rat trap offered cheese and pork okay so we human being are also this world is a rat trap and we human being are like rats okay we are entrapped into this particular world why because of our greed we, our want and our desire is never going to end right we always want something or the other we want um, uh, first of all we want uh, some uh, um, uh, we want to complete our we are uh, running after education. Why is education important? Because uh, we want to uh, get a good job. Then why do we want a good job such that we can earn good money? Okay, we can lead a respectable life in our society. And then um, moreover, we want more uh, luxuries in our life. Okay, we want to have nice, uh, we want to own lots of uh, houses and cars and buildings and want to go abroad. So all these greed, all these desires and want has no limit okay so we are always entrapped into this particular world okay so as it is being said here this world offer riches and joy shelter and food heat and clothing these things are the cheese okay the cheese that which is provided into the rat trap for the rats to be entrapped we are being entrapped into this world because of these riches and joy shelter and food heat and clothing these are the things that we require very much okay and as soon as anyone is let himself Okay, anyone let himself be tempted.
attempted to touch the bait, it closed in on him. So we are never being over. We are once we know the taste of all these interesting things, like all these luxuries, we are trapped. Okay, and we want more and more. We cannot come out of it. And therefore, it then comes to an end. Right? The world had, of course, never been very kind to him. So, it gave him unwanted joy to think ill of it in this way. It became a cherished pastime of his during many dreary ploddings to think of people he knew who had let themselves be caught in the dangerous snare and of others who were still circling around the bait. Now what happened here, it is said that uh, uh, since he is a uh, rat trap seller and since he is a vagabond, he does not have any family, he does not have any uh, relatives or friends or any kind of uh, house. So therefore people never treated him very nicely. No one in the world had ever been kind to the rat trap seller. So he started thinking ill of others because others have never been kind to him. So he was also not kind to anyone. Okay, It uh, became a favorite pastime for him Okay, to think ill of others. Now during uh, dull moments what happened these thoughts made him happy so he continued with thinking ill of those who were known to him okay whomever he knows he th thought ill of them he would imagine those people who were already trapped in the rat trap of worldly things and also those who were about to get trapped in it right okay now we are going to start with the story now one dark evening till this much uh, till here we have come to know about the introduction of the rat trap we have come to know who this rat trap seller is okay now we will be starting with the story that is one dark evening right one dark evening as he was trudging along the road he caught sight of a little gray cottage by the roadside and he knocked on the door to ask shelter for the night nor was he refused instead of the sour faces which ordinarily met him uh, the owner, who was an old man without wife or child, was happy to get someone to talk to in his loneliness. So, one day what happened in one such um, uh, one such dark evening, it was, uh, it was the approaching of the winter time. What happened? There was this one evening, the rat trap seller was walking very slowly. He saw a little grey cottage which stood by the road. Okay, he went up to the cottage and knocked at the door so as to get the shelter for the night. Generally, he was not helped by anyone, right? Um, uh, whenever he knocked in anyone's door, everyone used to tell him that, go away there is no place for uh, to shelter a vagabond or like this okay so he was uh, uh, n never helped by anyone but this time he was welcomed by the old man into his cottage okay he was a lonely old man without wife and kids so the old man was happy to get company that night okay so um, Instead of the sour faces which ordinarily met him, the owner who was an old man without wife or child was happy to get someone to talk to him in his loneliness. Immediately, he put the porridge pot on the fire and gave him supper. Then he carved off such a big slice from his tobacco roll that it was enough for both the stranger's pipe and his own. Finally, he got out an old pack of cards and played trolleys which, uh, with his guest until bedtime. So, uh, here we have some of the words, like if you can see, number one is this jollies. Jollies means what? It's a kind of game which is played by uh, playing cards, okay? Now, what happened? This old man who was uh, the owner of this cottage, he did not shoot the rat trap away, rat trap seller away, okay? Instead, he welcomed the rat trap seller into his house and uh, even uh, told him to, uh, welcomed him inside the house, gave him some food to eat, like a huge ball of porridge was offered to him, a huge slice of tobacco was given to him to uh, smoke so and that was uh, t and then till bedtime they had a nice talk to each other and then at last he was given a nice uh, play they played uh, cards also uh, along uh, together and then they slept off nicely okay so he was welcomed and treated like a very royal guest in that particular house the old man was just as generous with his confidences as with his porridge and tobacco. The guest was informed at once that in his days of prosperity, his host had been a crofter at Ramsjo Iron Works and uh, had worked on the land. Now that he was no longer able to do day labor, it was his cow which supported him. Yes, that bossy was extraordinary. He, she could give milk for the creamery every day and last month he had received all of 30 kroner in payment.
Okay. Now, this old man was very generous. Okay. Uh, this rat trap seller felt that the old man was not only liberal in uh, sharing his uh, porridge, but also his secrets. Okay. He told him that he was a rich man when he used to work on the uh, rented farm in this um, in uh, this Ramsjo iron work. Okay. Now, as he is old now and couldn't work, so he had to depend upon his cow for his living. The cow also gave enough milk for uh, every day to be sold uh, into the in the factory that produces cheese and cream okay the old man said that he was able to earn 30 kronor last month because of the cow's milk okay now there are some words which you all uh, should be knowing number one is uh, of course the term like generous generous means very liberal okay giving away the um, uh, all the secrets of the uh, this uh, old man was very liberally given away to this or let out to this particular rat trap seller okay then another uh, term is that being a crofter now what is the meaning of the term crofter crofter means a person who works on a rented farm okay in this ramsdo iron work this man used to work as a crofter okay then uh, uh, there is another word and that is bossy the cow has been termed as bossy bossy means it is actually a latin uh, word uh, boss b-o-s boss boss is actually the meaning of the word boss means cow okay in latin word boss means cow right okay and uh, creamery uh, we can find here there is another word creamery creamery means a factory that produces cheese and cream okay and uh, we have another word and that is uh, given here kronor kronor means what kronor is the currency of sweden because this story is a, a swedish folktale so of course it is kronor means a currency of sweden okay let's continue the stranger must have seemed incredulous for the old man got up and went to the window, took down a leather pouch which hung on a nail in the very window frame and picked out three wrinkled ten kroner bills. This he held up before the eyes of his guest, nodding knowingly, and then stuffed them back into the pouch the next day both men got up in good season okay now what happened here uh, the stranger was quite incredulous okay now here there is one term which is known as incredulous incredulous means what unbelieving okay something which you cannot believe okay so what happened uh, this rat trap seller did not believe that the old man's word that a cow could earn him so much okay uh, therefore the old man took um, uh, what happened actually was that the um, this um, ra according to the old man maybe he wanted to prove the fact that he is very rich okay that he had earned the 30 kronos last month so in order to make the rat trap seller believe in his words what he have done is that he stood up and he took a leather pouch which was uh, hanging on a window okay and took out three notes of 10 kroner each which were uh, old and crushed okay he showed those currency notes to make him believe his words and then kept back them in the pouch again right okay the next day both men got up in good season the crofter was in a hurry to milk his cow and the other man probably thought he should not stay in bed when the head of the house had gotten up they left the cottage at the same time the crofter locked the door and put the key in his pocket the man with the rat trap said goodbye and thank you and thereupon each went his own way so what happened um, in good season there is uh, one term that is given here in good season in good season means what in good season means early enough okay so next morning what happened both the rat trap seller and the crofter woke up early as the crofter was in a hurry to milk his cow uh, even the rat trap seller felt that as the owner of the house is awakened so he should also leave the bed uh, they both came out of the cottage at the same time the old man locked the door and went to his uh, work the rat trap seller also thanked him and went his own way right but half an hour later the rat trap peddler stood again before the door he did not try to get in however he only went up to the window smashed a pane struck in his hand and got hold of the pouch with the 30 kroner he took the money and thrust it into his own pocket then he hung the leather pouch very carefully back in its place and went away
Next what happened uh, just half an hour means the rat trap seller also went away saying goodbye and uh, the crofter also said uh, goodbye okay so after about half an hour okay the rat trap seller returned to the cottage and he broke down the window pane where the pouch hung because he was already shown the previous night where the pouch was been, uh, by the side of the window and the money that was also there inside the pouch okay he took away the money kept in his pocket put the pouch back at its place and walked off that means he stole away the money the money which was shown to the rat trap seller by the crofter so confidently thinking that the rat trap seller is a very honest and good fellow okay what happened the rat trap seller took advantage of the situation and uh, he stole away the money of this crofter okay as he walked along with the money in his pocket, he felt quite pleased with his smartness. He realized, of course, that at first he dared not continue on the public highway, but must turn off the road into the woods. During the first hours, this caused him no difficulty. Later in the day, it became worse, for it was a big and confusing forest which he had gotten into. He tried to be sure to walk in a definite direction, but the paths twisted back and forth so strangely. He walked and walked without coming to the end of the wood and finally he realized that he had only been walking around in the same part of the forest. All at once he recalled his thoughts about the world and the rat trap. Now his own turn had come. He had let himself be fooled by a bait and had been caught. The whole forest with its trunks and branches, its thickets and fallen logs closed in upon him like an impenetrable prison from which he could never escape. Now what happened? This rat trap seller, after uh, stealing away the money, he thought that he has done something really very wise. Okay, He thought himself that uh, he is very clever and he had stolen away the money. So the peddler was quite happy as he had money in his pocket. He then thought of walking through the forest as it was unsafe to walk on the highway because he feared being caught. Because if the crafter comes to know that his money has, of course the crafter will come to know that the money has been stolen, then he might be following the rat trap and if the rat trap seller walks by the highway, then he Easily he will be caught. So he thought of entering the forest. So she, initially it was not difficult to walk through the forest but later on it got confusing for him as he forgot his way. Okay, He tried hard to work in the direction, in the right direction but in vain as he found himself at the same place again and again. At this point of time he started thinking that now he himself was caught in, um, in the trap of the world just like the other people okay he was fooled by the bait of money which had which he had stolen from the old man's house the forest seemed like a prison full of trunks and branches it was like an impassable prison okay now uh, here as it is being said that uh, and finally he realized that he had only been walking around in the same part of the forest okay all at once he recalled his thoughts about the world as the rat trap okay now his own turn had come when he was a rat trap seller, when he used to, when he did not have any money in his pocket, okay, and he used to roam from one place to another, I have already told you that he used to think that uh, this world is a, uh, is a rat trap and those uh, rich people, they are only entrapped into the world like a rat because they are running after the money and luxury and food and heat and clothing and all these things, okay. And he is very happy because he has no cares in the world, he does not have any tensions in the world, he does not have money, so no cares. But now the rat trap seller is uh, trapped into his own uh, trap only. Okay, isn't it? He stole the money and now he had uh, got himself lost into the forest. He thought of escaping from the forest, but he could not. Okay, he only saw that wherever he was walking, he was coming to the same point again and again. He was going round and round inside the forest. So that shows that uh, uh, he was, uh, co uh, he, uh, he understood that he has got himself completely trapped into the forest. Okay, and... Uh, he had uh, entrapped himself because of the money he is now full of chaos he is now full of tension it is because of his tension to escape the crofter that he entered the forest and now inside the forest he feels himself like being entrapped into the rat trap isn't it so this forest was like an impassable prison for him
right okay so uh, students i have uh, done till uh, this part that is page number 34 we have done till this part uh, for today in this video till this much only i will be explaining in my next video i will continue from the next page that is page number 35 i hope you have understood uh, till this much uh, in my ppt presentation i have already uh, provided you with the theme and the uh, character sketch and everything so go through the ppt presentation and then go through this video you will understand the chapter more clearly thank you then everyone goodbye